What's up YouTube land? Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time, then welcome. We're back on the Wild Rye Project. It's a four container, shipping container home built out here in the beautiful mountains of Colorado. And what we've got going on behind me is the completion of our drain field for our septic system. Now, if you haven't caught the first episode of this particular project, the playlist is Wild Rye. All right, as I said a minute ago, uh, this is the area where we have the, our tanks, and right behind our excavator is the drain field for the Advantex system. And one of the best parts about this system is it's got an additional aerobic treatment process that basically further breaks down all that organic material that we know we're talking about. It comes out of the structure of the home itself um, when you flush the toilet or you take a shower all that's going to be run into this system uh, the same way it would if it's going into city sewer. Um, one of the benefits is basically, um, like I said, taking the job of further treating the waste that's coming out of the drain field shoulders. And that's what's left is even cleaner liquid that we can dispose of. Um, it's not leaving as much of the, shall we say, residue as a normal septic system would do. A lot of the time in a septic tank only system, not a Vantex system, that remaining treatment, shall we say, is left up to the drain field itself. And that drain field really isn't able to handle the treatment load, um, especially on the solid sides. Okay, so after seeing most of the footage, I realized my wireless mics were not working. And so therefore we're gonna do some voiceover on the rest of this so you guys can get the full story of how the Vantex system works. All right, here's how it works. Raw sewage enters that septic tank through the inlet T. And in the tank, the raw sewage separates into three distinct zones, scum layer, sludge layer, and a clear zone. Effluent from the clear passes through the effluent filter and then is discharged by gravity into the recirculation blend chamber of the AXRT system unit. That effluent then flows through that recirc transfer line to the recirc pumping system. And in that pump, it's timer controlled to ensure that small intermittent doses of the effluent are applied to the textile sheets throughout the day. That's those filter sheets in the system. That ensures an aerobic, unsaturated environment for optimal treatment. In, a, in the manifold, the distribution nozzles distribute that effluent evenly over those textiles. So then that effluent will percolate down to the textile sheets and then distributed between the recirc and blend and the recirc filtration chambers by means of the tank baffle that separates the unit into three, into several different sections. Um, the textile material, which is that textile we talked about, is then suspended from the top of that treatment unit. A portion of that stuff is actually positioned over the recirc and bl blend chamber. And the remainder of that Goo goo doo doo is positioned over the recirc filtration chamber and separated from the recirc blend chamber by a baffle, and from which that will fill, you know, it'll filtrate treated effluent and then discharged. Um, that baffle is fitted with a recirc return valve for equalizing those flow periods throughout the day. And under the daily flow condition, that valve allows 100% of the filtrate to be returned to the recirc blend chamber for continued recirculation. And then the recirc return valve is similar to a check valve, like on your sump pump or anything else. And it allows uh, preferential flow in one direction only. So in this case, from the recirc filtration chamber to the recirc blend chamber. And then that recirc return valve closes when the liquid head on the blend side is equal or greater than the liquid head on the filtration side. So the liquid head on the filtration recirc side is higher than the pressure differential pushes the recirc valve open to allow stuff to pass to the recirc blend side of the baffle. And then that provides continued recirculation during periods of low or no flow if no one, nothing's being used throughout the day. And then flow from the recirc blend chamber can pass to the recirc filtration chamber only through that treated media. All right, so there's our tanks running from the drainage field right out here 
on this truck is our excavation site for our foundation and the four container build itself. So we'll have it running down to these tanks and then back out of the drainage. All right, that's a wrap on this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got good content information out of it. If you got any questions, drop them in the comments below. If you like the video and its content, would appreciate a thumbs up on your way out of the video. Thanks again for watching. And as always, guys, build safe, build smart, and keep building.